disappear. <laughs> Nice to ride with you again. You and Lord Shimura taught me to ride. <laughs> On that runt pony. <laughs> you sat so tall and straight in your little saddle. Like you were the Shogun himself. Little Jin. What's so funny? I just remembered it was out here you nearly killed your uncle. What? You were three or four. The poor man was trying to teach you how to hold your wooden kodachi. You wanted to chase butterflies. I know the story. My uncle's black eye took weeks to heal. <laughs> Lord Shimura and your father laughed so hard, I fear they'd both choke to death. I don't remember my father's laugh. He lost his humor after your mother got sick. But you have your father's laugh. Here we are. A gozomat and a campfire. You sleep out here? <laughs> Only when I spend the day foraging for plants. I'll look for the flowers we need. Rest, Yuriko. I will get them for you. Don't eat the seeds, they're poisonous. I'm not a child, Yuriko. Oh, <laughs> I know. Remember how we gather flowers for your mother? She arranged them for the little alcove at home. That should be enough. Bring them to me, young master. Your plants? Good. We extract the seeds, crush them, make a paste, and dip the needles. Make sure the dose is strong. It should do what you need. It's done. You're sure he came this way? The old woman has a camp around here somewhere. Listen. Someone's coming. Stay there, Yuriko. Let's see if this poison works. He will regret what he did to Sadamune and the others. I just want his head, and the price that goes with it. How much farther? It's around here somewhere. Let me get my burials. Hurry up! I don't want to lose him. Young master? Don't worry. I dealt with them. <sighs> sometimes I forget you're a grown man. I forget sometimes too. We should get back to the estate. I'll stay. I need to straighten the place up. Don't push yourself too hard. Hush! You are not a child. And I'm old enough to take care of myself. What other kinds of poison can you make? Always so impatient. There is another. It causes confusion and rage. But the ingredients... What were they? Try to remember. It sounds useful.
Not that. Oh, mother. Young master, would you like something to eat? I'm fine, Yuriko. I just need the poison. You are trying to remember the ingredients. They were flowers. You remember them, don't you? The ones I planted at your family cemetery. I remember washing the graves. Father made me hold buckets of water from the lake. He knew it would make you strong and teach you to respect your ancestors. Don't you remember the flowers, Jin? Spider lilies. That's right. With enough spider lilies, you can craft a poison that makes rats go mad. Tear each other to pieces. It's awful. It's for a good cause. Just make it strong enough to work on men. If you think it's necessary, I know exactly where to find what we need. This way. This part of the forest. I was here when I was a child. After your mother passed away. I refused to believe she was gone. So I ran from home and came here. Your mother loved to take long walks here. I searched until sundown. I kept shouting for her. But she was gone. And I was lost. You were missing for three days. Nearly dead by the time your father found you. I've never seen him so angry. Angry at himself for failing to protect you. I've seen your father before countless battles. And he was never more worried than the sleepless nights he spent, searching for his only son. Not much farther to the cemetery. I wonder what your father would make of the ghost. He would disapprove, like my uncle. Don't be so sure. They argued often. Kazumasa thought your uncle too rigid, willfully blind to possibilities. Kazumasa had imagination. Imagination? My father? You're like him in more ways than you know. Careful! Disrespecting the dead! Stay here! them off? Yes. It's safe to look for the spider lilies. Why would we look for them here? Isn't this where you used to plant them? Oh. Uh, no, not here. It's been so long. They're in another cemetery. Your great aunt's branch of the family. It's not far. Yuriko, do you remember? I was five or six. I had a nightmare about this forest. A fight. It wasn't a nightmare. I told you it was to keep you calm. That was real? I remember men shouting. Our retinue was returning home late one night. 
We were ambushed by 